In many places throughout the book of Proverbs, you find a contrast between the wicked and the righteous, the wicked and the upright. That's no different than right here in Proverbs chapter 14 and verse 11. And in Proverbs chapter 14 and verse 11, in this contrast between the wicked and the upright, uh, what you find is who they're placing their faith in, who the wicked are placing their faith in, what rather the wicked are placing their faith in, and who the righteous are putting their faith in, the upright are putting their faith in. The Bible tells us right here in Proverbs chapter 14 and verse 11, and it says, the house of the wicked will be destroyed, but the tent of the upright will flourish. Now, in this contrast between the wicked and the upright, you see this other contrast here that the house of the wicked will be destroyed. And then it goes on to say, but the tent of the upright will flourish. So here it is that the wicked, they're living in a house and they're putting their their, their, their trust in the things of this world. They're putting their trust in the house. Naturally, a house is a lot safer than a tent. A house is a lot more secure than a tent. A house is something of affluence. The house is something of prosperity. The house is something that will you'll keep you warmer. It'll keep you cooler. It'll, it, it, it'll keep the rain off of your head a lot better than a tent. A house is a permanent structure that says that that I'm going to be here forever and ever and ever. And yet the Bible says that the house of the wicked is going to be destroyed. So what the wicked are putting their faith in, what the wicked are putting their trust in, the Bible says it's going to be destroyed. It doesn't matter how strong the house is. It doesn't matter how well built the house is. It doesn't matter what type of materials the house is made out of. It doesn't matter how big the house is and how affluent the house is. The house can have a security fence all the way around it and have the best security that that the world can offer. But God says it's going to be destroyed one of these days. In fact, when we get right down to it, everything in this world is going to be destroyed. And so many people are putting their faith and putting their trust in the things of this world rather than God. But yet of the upright, it says, but the tent of the upright will flourish. A tent isn't a very secure structure. A tent isn't going to keep you all that warm. A tent isn't going to cool you off. A tent will probably not keep all of the elements out. A tent, a strong enough wind coming along, it's just going to blow it away like there's nothing to it. There's no strength in a tent. There's no security in a tent. A tent is a lot less likely to keep the enemies from getting into to plunder you. But God said that tent's going to flourish. Who's it going to flourish for? It's going to flourish for the upright. Why? Because the upright, their faith is in in a tent. And even if they lived in a house, even if they lived in a great big fortified mansion, their faith isn't in that. Their faith is in God. And as a demonstration, their faith is in God. They're upright and they're walking for God. They're walking in God. And their security is found in him, not of the things of this world. The Bible makes it extraordinarily clear that everything in this world, everything, everything in this world one day is going to be destroyed. Everything. So if we place our faith and our trust in the things of this world, then friends, we're going to be greatly, greatly disappointed. But God is eternal. And God is almighty and God is all powerful. That's why the Bible tells us that God is our refuge and our strength. A very present help in a time of trouble. God's that refuge. God is that fortification around us that will protect us if we're in him. And as God is eternal, those who have placed their faith and their trust in Jesus Christ will also live for all eternity in a mansion that's in the Father's house, according to Jesus Christ. Not built by human hands, but built by Jesus himself. 
There we will be with the Lord forever. That's the house I'm longing for. All because of Jesus and the fact that he prepared that way for us.